Hey everyone, today I thought I would do a what I got for Christmas video. Now, I mostly got gift cards and a lot of food gift cards, which we always appreciate, but I got one to Sephora and I also spent some Christmas money at Madewell. So I thought if you had gift cards too and were looking for ideas, this might be helpful, or you're just curious about what products I'll be testing over the next couple weeks. So I will share both of those purchases. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with my number one favorite gift, the thing I was so excited to open. Now, I was so excited, but I don't think a single member of my family understood the draw or why I would ask for this except my mom because she gets me i got a berkey water filter which i have wanted four months since i started following lee from america she's a healthy blogger and instagrammer and on her instagram stories she always shows her berkey and goes on and on about how much she loves it i've always just used the water filter that comes in your refrigerator but when i started following her i did some reading and i really wanted a step up like a more serious water filtration system and berkey seems like the gold standard a lot of people really love it so i've wanted it but it's not the cheapest so i always put it off and when my mom asked me what i wanted for christmas that is the first thing that comes to mind so I'm very excited I haven't decided where its final resting place will be in my kitchen right now I have it on those black drawers if you've ever seen one of my get ready with me videos it's that black piece of furniture behind me so that's where it is right now makes it very easy to for myself to use it but I also use it to fill Momo's water bowl so that we both can be healthy but I uh, speaking of Momo's water bowl another present I loved and I'll uh, do a little video clip so you can see it my in-laws got me this stand almost and it's tilted and it holds two white cat shaped bowls one for her food and one for her water and it's so cute and it looks really cute in the kitchen it does come with this little tray on the side and the instructions say you can use it to grow cat grass which i've never done before i've actually had to be pretty careful with plants i don't have a lot of plants in the house because she likes to gnaw on them so i have to make sure they are plants that aren't going to be um, harmful to cats so she might really like cat grass for all i know so if you have cats and have any experience I would love if you would leave it down below so that I can read it and do a little bit of research. Also from my mother-in-law, she got me some of the Honest Hazel Eye Gels. These are such a favorite, they're so good. And I don't know if it's trying to get over this little cold that I had or it being winter, but my under eye area has been especially bad lately. So I'm happy to have more of those in my life. And then I also bought something you'll see in the Sephora section to help with that too. I love a coordinated gift and my friend Diana is so good at them. The first thing in this package was a Whole Foods gift card, which I spent the very next day after I opened this. And then she also got me a Grove Collaborative dish towel, which feels really nice and like nice quality. And then she got me a cookbook. This is the A Beautiful Mess Weekday Weekend, How to Live a Healthy Veggie Life and Still Eat Treats. I love the girls from A Beautiful Mess. I followed Elsie for years in these past few months when she started sharing her adoption story. It has just been amazing. These little snippets of videos, but you can see when you're following along how her relationship is growing with Nova. So it's absolutely precious. So I'm happy to have their cookbook. It looks really good. So we'll get busy and start cooking. My sister's got me this little guy. It's a Google Home Mini. I have set it up on the network. I have asked it about the weather and I've asked it to play Spotify. Those are the only two things so far. So let me know if you have favorite commands. I think they told me if there's a recipe that Google recognizes, this will read it out to you and it will pause while you complete actions before it goes on to the next step, which sounds really cool. Sephora gift cards are always the easiest to spend because I always have a loves list going on their website. Something that's been on there for a while because when I first heard about it from Tati, it was sold out is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Cap System. So my hair has been very frizzy and then a little bit dry on the end, so I'm really excited to use it, and if I have time, I think I'm going to break into it tonight. I went to put the Biosance eye gel that Diana recommended to me in my cart, but I saw that I had it in a kit. This is the Biosance Squalene Superstar. So you get a full size of the peptide eye gel, and then you get a mini vitamin C rose oil and the 100% squalene oil. So it was a good value and then it's just a way for me to try some extra products from the brand. So I'm interested to see how this eye gel compares to my belief ones. I am so happy to have this back in my life. A couple months ago, I got a teeny tiny sample of the Vanish foundation stick in either Sephora box or a point perk. The color wasn't an exact match, but it was close enough that I could make it work. And I loved that sample and I was so sad when it was gone. And I said, one day I will buy the full size. So I color matched myself to vanilla, which I'm wearing today. When I first applied it, it looked a little bit too peachy, but I think once I blended it out, it was okay. I just love the finish of this foundation and how well it wears throughout the day. So I will use this in my next Get Ready With Me video so you can see how it applies. I love watching Taylor or the Taylor, I think is how you say her YouTube channel name 
her foundation Friday videos are so good. Even though a lot of times I have very different experiences with the foundation she reviews, they're so well done and entertaining. And I just like her personality. She also does these videos, and I have a very hard time saying this, shadow and schmooze, which is like basically a get ready with me video where she has a special name for it. And in those videos, she talks about this blush formula from Ciate a lot. It's the Glow to Illuminating Blush wanted to try one out for myself and I chose Summer Love. My first impression, I am wearing this today, is that it's a little bit more glowy than it is full of color, which isn't a bad thing because I tend to be a little bit heavy handed when it comes to blush. So this could be the perfect amount of pigmentation for me. So I'll keep using this a little bit longer and give you my final thoughts, but it's very pretty. Okay, bought one last thing and then I'll show you my couple of freebies, but I'd mentioned wanting this in my last video. It's one of the Stila Shimmer and Glows in the color Cloud, which is beautiful. It's a lavender, but it has some taupe to it. So I think it makes it very wearable. Today I have it on a little bit like the inner part of my lid with some neutral shadows, but I also think it would be beautiful with plums and purples. I used a coupon code to get a mini crushed lip color from Bobbi Brown and I chose the color Ruby, which is a gorgeous red with some berry to it. And then since my birthday's in January, I was able to select my birthday gift. I went with Bite, I love them as a brand and I think this is one of the best birthday offerings ever. You get a mini glacé and a mini chai, I believe, and then a sample of the scrub and lip balm. If you haven't tried Bite before, I think this is a great little introduction to the brand. Last but not least, I use Christmas money from both of my grandmothers at Madewell. And if you haven't signed up for their rewards program, it's free, just like at Sephora or Ulta. Madewell sent me a gift card for my birthday, which was great. So I was able to use that this day as well. So the first thing I bought is this sweater. The color I think online was called Heather Gray maybe, but in person it has a little bit of lavender to it, which I think is beautiful. And it is a V-neck and I think it would look gorgeous if you had a black lace bralette and some of the lace was popping out. I don't really have one that would work for that purpose. So if you have a favorite one, let me know. But I have a pair of earrings that I think would go great with this. And then I would just keep the rest of the outfit very simple, black jeans, black boots, and call it a day. My other purchase took me a tiny bit out of my comfort zone. I really love the bag shape, but I went ahead and I bought it in the new rose pink color, which I wanted to see in person to see just how pink it was. I don't think it's too pink. I think it's still on the neutral side. It's coming off maybe a little bit more vibrant on camera than it is in real life, but I love the bag shape. This is the drawstring crossbody, I think that's what they're calling it, and you could easily fit your phone and any other necessities you would need for running around, so I think it's awesome. And then other than the pink, it also came in the traditional brown and black, and then this new sage green kind of light gray color, so I'm so excited about it. I think it's a really cute addition to the transport family. That is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to my friends and family for the beautiful gifts and gift cards. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to start using these. I think next up I'll do a get ready with me video so I can show you some of these products in action. I'm also toying with the idea of doing a goals kind of overview of my ARC notebook since some people have asked to see that and I got the most beautiful cover for it. So I'm gonna put that together today so I will be working on those videos. But thank you again for spending time with me today and I'll talk to you again very soon.